The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube. And now thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, who will be broadcasting themselves starting at 11 o'clock New York time on Monday on Paltalk. We are distributed to cable systems serving an additional 12 million households. I'm your host, Gary Baumgarten. Well, the U.S. Director of National Intelligence, in case you don't know it, the DNI, the Director of National Intelligence, by the way, in Washington, D.C., except for D.C., everything else is three letters, FBI, CIA, EPA, MTA, <laughs> so he is known as the DNI. If you get four letters in, you're the President of the United States, POTUS, P-O-T-U-S. The Director of National Intelligence, who is the top spook, the top spy in the United States of America, says, now get this, the cause of 9-11, it was weak domestic wiretapping laws. Vice Admiral Mike McConnell, who is former head of the National Security Agency and who was appointed DNI, that's right, NSA, National Security Agency. He was appointed DNI in 2007. Uh, says that uh, Mohammed Atta, the alleged 9-11 conspirator, was trackable by US intel until he entered the United States of America and then because of the domestic laws that preclude wiretapping. They had to shut off the electronic surveillance of the guy. And then 9-11 occurs, boom. So I guess by extension, we can blame the CIA. I don't know. I think it's kind of ridiculous, some of this finger pointing that goes on. I think that perhaps one can make an argument that under certain circumstances, there should be uh, wiretapping under properly prescribed warrants only, uh, but to blame that as opposed to blaming Osama bin Laden and company, I think is a little bit disingenuous perhaps is the word. Uh, it's like saying that the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey is responsible for the buildings getting run into by the airplanes because they were there. You think that's preposterous? Well, a court has actually ruled that the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey is like 80% responsible for what happened on September 11th, 2001 in the civil action. So there you go. That's how things work these days. Oh, by the way, for those of you who are watching on Pal Talk and wondering where I am with this beautiful skyline behind me, I'm in the wonderful, you should recognize this apartment if you watch Matched in Manhattan on Lifetime Cable Television. I'm in the apartment of uh, Matt Titus and Tamsin Fadal and their show at 10 o'clock New York time, right here in uh, Pal Talk Studio A, Why Hasn't He Called, will be held here. And I thought, hey, if we're going to do their show from here, why not get out of the office, out of the studio, and do my show from here as well, too? Beautiful view of uh, uh, New York City. I'm looking over at the Hudson River this way. I'm looking at the BMW building over here, salivating over the uh, cars in the showroom down there that I'll never be able to afford. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think about this? I want to hear a lot of discourse on this issue because I like to bring up the question of balancing civil liberties and homeland security. Can we even balance them? Well, according to the DNI, Director of National Intelligence, Vice Admiral Mike McConnell, that's the top spy in the United States of America, had we properly use wiretaps on one of the conspirators, alleged conspirators on 9-11, it never would have happened. That's what he says anyway. So let's go right to you and hear what you have to say. Let's go to Jim up in Rochester, New York. Jim, welcome to News Talk Online on paltalk.com.
Uh oh, okay, here I am. Had a problem with the microphone. Yeah, Gary, I agree with you there, dude. Um, you know, we need more wiretapping because it's getting to a point to where um, they're out there still, and, and believe me, I feel sorry for, for our government. If we can't do any wiretapping like we should, we should be allowed to do all that stuff. We should be able to find out where these guys are. You know what I mean? The heck with this. I mean, you know, they're putting our lives in danger right now. Anytime that somebody comes into our state, I mean, it's like, you know, we can't go anywhere. I mean, just like right now, you can't leave the United States unless you have a passport. Just the same thing here. Now, how are these guys getting in here? Easy. They're slipping in through the borders. That's how they're getting in here. And that's where our problem is right now. And I have to agree with you that we got serious issues and we need to fix them right now. I mean, how are we going to fix them right now if nobody's going to, you know, Congress is sitting down there with the thumbs somewhere and they're not doing anything about it. Now, you know, there's something got to be done to keep these people out of here. And as far as I'm concerned, all of them should be deported out of here. Period. They don't belong here. Well, uh, I don't think you were agreeing with me at all, Jim. I, I was reporting what uh, Vice Admiral Mike McConnell had to say about the issue. I didn't say that we should be wiretapping people. I did say that there are, there are certain circumstances where you have to, um, following prescribed uh, warrant, following the proper uh, procedure. You get a warrant to wiretap and you do so. And you have to explain to the judge what you want to do. And you have to... Uh, limit your wiretapping to conversations which would be uh, potentially injurious to national security. Uh, and by the way, the hijackers, the 19 hijackers, did not enter the United States of America illegally. They entered the United States of America legally. However, they had overstayed their visa. But, you know, uh, welcome to New York City. Anybody who's holding the door open for you when you go to a uh, building has probably overstayed his or her visa too here. Our next caller is Matt, who's joining us from Wichita, Kansas. Matt, welcome to News Talk Online on paltalk.com. Well, Gary, uh, here's a point. It, it, the wiretapping uh, that, w that we were supposed to have when this 9-11 happened, it wouldn't help it. You're going to need more surveillance. You're going to need more tracking devices. And I didn't think it's more on how you structure the government and uh, <clears throat> how to how you track down these terrorists and I believe at the time our government wasn't structured at the time so I say I blame the structure of the government and I blame Congress and the Senate for not seeing this these loopholes into the system Gary but so wiretapping wouldn't help at all Okay, so what, uh, Matt, would you suggest uh, should be done if, if uh, the intelligence community is tracking somebody who they believe poses a threat to the United States of America or uh, any other country in those countries, and they track them in, into the country now? Well, first of all, how they are allowed in the country legally under those circumstances I don't fully understand, but apparently they are. So now, what would you propose that they do? Well, f f first, uh, uh, Gary, uh, 